Hi guys, so this is how my morning starts most days, usually Monday to Sunday. It's 5am in the morning, up early and I'm on my way to the lab. And so I'm just about on, to get onto the freeway and uh, as promised this next vlog is going to be set in the laboratory and I'll see you guys there. Okay guys, so this is the microbiology lab where I work and just behind me is the Listeria testing room which is a controlled area in the lab and today we're just going to walk through how we test for Listeria in food products. Okay, so today I'm testing for Listeria in a cannelloni pasta product and the role of any microbiologist begins with making sure that the area is clean and disinfected and this also goes for any tools that I'm using such as scalpels or forceps. And then essentially after you've made that happen, you begin with your sample extraction, which here involves just making sure that I have a little bit of the sample in a sample bag, and then that I create a 1 in 10 dilution with an enrichment broth, which will essentially allow the bacteria to grow over the 24 hour incubation period. So the next step is for me to put my prepared and blended samples into an incubator which is set at approximately 35 degrees for about 26 hours. So after the relevant incubation period has passed, I remove my samples from the incubator and begin my final steps of sample preparation and extraction. This essentially involves me taking a 500 microliter aliquot out of a filter in the sample bag and then I add this to an ELISA strip which is read by an automated machine. And so the last step is for me to put my samples onto the instrument. After a couple of hours, I get a printout with the results, and then I pass on this information in the form of a short report to other people in the company. So after I've done all my listeria testing, I might do some air sampling for yeasts and molds, or I might do some other lab work such as pH and water activity before I leave for uni, where my first lecture begins at 12 o'clock. 